We're back with another episode of A Minute Till Six. This is episode two of season two. I'm your host, Mark Haynes, and you see to my right, a very special guy out here in L.A. in this red, blue, and white that he loves so much. Goes by the name of Clipper Daryl. And then I got my co-host sitting right here. The uh, anti-red, blue, and white, Chris Perry. You on album already. Hey, Cl- Clipper Daryl, man, you, you, what, what? What these Laker fans? What what? Uh, you know, I, I have to admit, I just became a Laker fan. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. LeBron. <laughs> I'm with LeBron. New to the scene. But uh, you've been you've been dealing with Laker fans for for a long time now, man. How how, how do you deal with it? They got to be hard. You know, all my life, me, I've been a Clipper fan for 27 seasons. Mm-hmm. So legit, not, legit. And my thing is, my 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 mother and father were Laker fans. My, all my family and friends are Laker fans. Mm-hmm. So how can you hate on something that's great? Respect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Respect. But then at the same time, you got to respect what who you, I'm cheering for. So we it's a fun banner. It's a fun family banner. Mm-hmm. People laugh at me, especially when we lose. We didn't go past the, you know, the second round and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, it, it, it's been a pain throughout the years. But, you know, let's... Being being a part of Clipper Nation is so fun, man. Mm-hmm. It's a fun atmosphere, man. Because y'all because y'all Laker fans is bougie as hell. <laughs> Come on now, bougie. I would I wouldn't say nothing about bougie. Man, y'all bougie. Now we might just be used to greatness. You know, we might just have high expectations <laughs> every year. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to to be a Laker fan. It's hard to to play for the Lakers. Because it's really championship or bust. There's no such thing as it was a good season. We made the playoffs. You know, that's okay for the Clippers. You know, oh, we made uh, it. We finally made it to the playoffs. We made it to the first uh, round, second like round. The beer, <laughs> 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 so, like the so, my Lakers, man, it's championship or bust. So, it's, it's really hard, uh, you know, to be a Laker. And I, I respect the the down years just as much as uh what we got going on now man we couldn't we get the beer cut yeah, off. Yeah, <laughs> gotta do something about that uh. yeah. <laughs> but you know I mean I respect like I can have freely banner I can we can talk you know later right but this is what I tell people right now mm-hmm. this is a new era for the Clippers for Whole sure I agree it's, I call it the Steve Bomber era mm-hmm. okay okay let's take you know the Donald Sterling and the Jerry Buss era take them back. All right, let's take it from Jeannie Buss to now and and uh, Steve Ballmer era, mm-hmm. right? When mm-hmm. he, she started owning the team, right? And he started owning the club. Okay, I Y'all can haven't take won that. Okay, and we haven't won nothing. Yeah. We even, yeah, right. Let's start new. We can call it that. So let's stop worrying about the past and let's look forward to a great future. Because we're gonna whoop y'all out. I mean, we're gonna uh Yeah, you good, you all right, you all right. We we it's home, baby. It's good. getting close to Christmas. <laughs> you know? It's getting close to Christmas. So hey, y'all say. couldn't do nothing over the day, so what you what, Hey, what's it's Christmas opening day. Do? Now we done jailed a little bit. See, y'all want to open the day, but 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 you look at how things have gone since then and <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like watching <laughs> y'all games. It's that boring. Island, it's that week, you know. So well, Talk to me on Christmas. All right. I see you on Christmas. So I, I guess there's no doubt in your mind. You know, this is uh this is the best Clipper team Clippers ever had right, right here. So uh, like he said, he was like Lakers are always always championship or bust. Mm-hmm. Is that what you are with the Clippers this year? Is it, is this championship or bust? Is it championship right now, or is it more of a you you think it's gonna be a process? Now, honestly, man, I think it's gonna be a championship for us. I mean, it's our time. It's it's June June twenty twenty man. Mm-hmm. This the Steve Bomber era man. Oh excuse me. The way he assembled this team from top to bottom, they stack right. The way the organization is, the feel like walking into the arena now feels different. Right. When I go to the front office, when I'm talking to the to the to the PR people, when I'm talking to the vice presidents, the secretaries, the the uh, the sales people, the vibe is totally different now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is. It, it feels fantastic, <laughs> bro. It's our time. Okay, time. and so listening to that, I have a question then because I heard uh, you talk I'll about. You I know it's oh. legit. I hear him talk about you know being in the front office and here and there and ticket box and all these things. You know, give the people a little bit of a background on how Clipper Daryl became Clipper Daryl because I want to know 
how do we get there? I, maybe I want to become uh, Laker Chris, you know. So how how did how did how did you get there? And and yeah, just give him that little. Did it did it start with the suit? It comes from the heart. No, oh, okay, okay. That's what it comes. I've been like this since the fourth grade. So when I became a Clipper fan, how I became a Clipper fan was I got fired from a job. And the guy told me I never mopped anything in, in life without him. Mm -hmm. You know, you get fired, you feel sorry for yourself. Uh -huh. Went home, turned the TV on. The Clipper game comes on. They said the same thing about them, how horrible they was, how they had never mopped anything. I said, this is going to be my team. We're going to ride and die together. Mm -hmm. you know? So when I could be able to be afford season tickets, mm -hmm. I was listening to Ralph Law. That's why I was so much in love with Ralph Law. Ralph, yeah. Because you, when you listen to him on the radio, man, he pictured it so well. You know what I'm saying? When you're watching the games, because I really couldn't even afford to go to the sports arena. I went to a few games, but I couldn't go. But actually, when I couldn't afford season tickets, that was in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. And I never looked back. I've only missed two two home games in, in uh, 20 seasons. Man, that's impressive that's right there. That's very impressive. So that's, <laughs> been, that's been all... You've you've become a season ticket holder, or is this something that they have provided to you now? Or they, uh, I've been I've been I've been a season ticket holder all the way up until 2012, and we had that altercation with, mm. with Donald Sterling, and, and Donald Sterling told me he said, "Man, I'm gonna take care of you. You got a lifetime pass with me now." He said, "We, we apologize for what happened." You know what mm. I'm saying? We, so my thing is, what happened? People look at that 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 thing and saying, "Girl, how can you still cheer for this team? Mm -hmm. How many times have you had a fight with your mama?" How many times you had to fight with your dad? Yeah, yeah. How many times you had to fight with your brother, your sister, your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. That's what happens, man. We got into an incident. We we cleared it up. Let's move on, baby. Let's go get this chip. <laughs> I respect. I respect. <laughs> so then, uh, Sterling's out, yeah. obviously. Steve and, Ballmer. And Ballmer's in now. So Steve has continued this lifetime pass. Yeah. And and the crazy with with, with him is that. I had a, the pleasure of sitting next to him. When he first started owning the team, mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of sitting next to him on the, on the Clipper Laker game. It was, a, it was opening day, when the first year he owned the team, man. And, bro, it was like sitting next to your best friend, man. The best feeling you can ever have, bro. We chest bumping. We high five. <laughs> I'm doing the Let's Go Clipper chants. He's doing the defense chants. Bro, it, it was, yeah, it was unbelievable, lit. man. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's, a, he's a great owner, man. A great owner, man. And that's where it starts, man. Like, mm -hmm. when you see players, like, if you ever look at a Clipper game, right? Right. If you ever come in an arena. Yeah. Ba Steve Ballmer sits underneath the basket, yeah. right? And next to the Clippers bench, right? Look how the players react to him. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He don't He don't be looking at, he don't go walk over there and mess with Doc's, uh, you know, tell him I need to do this. Yeah, nah. yeah. Nah. He let, he let everybody do his thing. Lawrence Frank doing a great job in the front office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this feeling that I have, I it's it's unbelievable right now, man. And it's one of them feelings, man, that it's not gonna go away till June 2020, baby. So we hold up that Larry O B. Right. <laughs> well, it, it ain't gonna go away. Hey, so so with with you being so pumped about this this chip and stuff, you know, and uh, you know, Clipper Daryl, you Clipper fan. All for the rest of your life, you'll be a Clipper fan, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So I'm, I'm gonna have to assume the meme or the picture. I don't know if it's a meme or a picture. And I seen you tweet it out with the Laker when when LeBron came 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 to L.A. to you know take his throne here. Mm -hmm. You thought about becoming a Laker fan? Never. <laughs> it was see the purple me, and gold looked good on you. Yeah, man, never. The skin tone, everything. Me and LeBron has a rapport. Uh -huh. Okay. LeBron. I met LeBron back in 2009. I think it was 2009. And he, uh, I was at the Mid Wilshire Hotel, mm -hmm. and he was driving up. He was in a in one of them SUVs. He was hanging out the window. I'm coming out because uh, I was just finished having dinner with some people from Cleveland mm -hmm. because I was with some friends. Uh -huh. And um, and he was coming. He was driving up. He's hanging out the window saying, "U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi." <laughs> he jumps out the he jumps out <laughs> the truck and started doing my dance and everything. Man. <laughs> And his boy Matt Matt Maverick was with him, Matt, yeah. and he told him, he said, "Man, we need him in Cleveland." And we just had a great conversation, man. Yeah. That was a, like five minutes of you know of great conversation, right? And it wasn't I didn't ask for no picture, and back then you don't ask a picture, right. you know. It wasn't yeah. even, no wasn't no social media back then right. as heavy as it is now, right? And it was it's, it's always gonna be here, you know what I'm saying? And LeBron knows, LeBron. Yeah. so when he came to the Lakers. 
You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I was sitting there bored on on the Fourth of July, and I just put it out there, mm-hmm. right? And you know, it was funny. Yeah, it was but hilarious. Some people took, took it, it serious. Took it, you know, they they I got cussed out for it from a lot of Clipper fans. Mm-hmm. A lot of you know, a lot of Laker fans cussed me out, but behind it, right? We don't want you and all this, you know, or you know, and, and then we got Kuzma involved in it. Welcome to the nation. Yeah. Welcome to Laker Nation. <laughs> yeah. So it was so funny to me. But I was just having fun with yeah. it, man. Yeah. You know, and 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 if you if you ever meet LeBron, he's a fun guy, man. Just yeah. like Kawhi. Yeah. Like people don't realize Kawhi is a fun guy. That's he talks, yeah. but he but that's but that's he, part of who he is. But he though. don't do social media. Yeah, the mystique. At all. It's exactly. the mystique at all. about yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's why yeah, I met I met LeBron a, a couple of times. Like you say, fun, it's good vibes. Yeah. Right? And I I want I haven't met Kawhi, but I want to so bad cuz yeah. it I, he, you could tell he, he's a funny dude. Like and, he's a real one, man. man yeah, him, so, him and Paul George, man. Yeah, I love PG. both of that PG because real recognize real. Yeah, you know, like even when we we when we got Kawhi, right? I went to the press conference when they when they really, you know, and it was crazy because they they both walked up to me, man, said, "What's up, little man? How you been? I know you feeling good right now." So that was a good feeling for me within itself. Yeah, because when people recognize, yeah, when people recognize you, you be like, huh? Right. Kawhi. <laughs> he, even, he even told me. He even told me, man, you gotta give me one of them suits, Daryl. <laughs> I said, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. I pay for it. You know, you know. But we, you know, and PG man showed me so much love. Him and his family, man. Like it was crazy because this is how life is. One of PG's good friends. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know that it was his good friend. Mm-hmm. But we had great conversation all the time, right? Right. He was sitting there depressed. He was like, what's up, girl? Huh? You never told me that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how it is. It's so genuine. You see what I'm saying? So you never know who people are. Mm-hmm. You yeah. just treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah, equally the yeah. same and, across and, the board. And have man. fun, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and that's what it's a lot of people they they meet celebrities or stars or athletes, whatever. And they, you know, don't know how to talk to them. It's mm-hmm. like they're a person. They're a person. Yeah, exactly. you know, they're just very talented at what they do. You know, whatever they do, if it's an actor or whatever, but they're regular people, and they love when they when you treat them like a regular person. Hey, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you when I, I, my 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 fandom moment was oh, crazy yeah. for me was when I'm talking to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, he you know courtside, yeah. right? Hey, that. Jay Z turns and says, "What's up, Clever Daryl? How you doing?" Uh, uh, yeah, Jay Z. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness, <laughs> he shook my hand. And Beyonce said, "Hi, Daryl." Wow. I, I told myself I would never watch this movie again. <laughs> Jay Z, baby. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Cause I shook your hand when you walked in here, man. Yeah. Right, have you watched it since then, brother? Yeah, I'm like, we gotta start hugging around it. <laughs> I need some hand sanitizer hey, right about now. I, I, I with you on that, man. So, <laughs> what, was that was that was that the first time? Or yeah, when, when was the first time you you were starstruck? Because now you didn't you didn't yeah. met seen yeah. and met everybody. Yeah, I met everybody. Um, Starstruck Snoop is one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, speaking hey, y'all, of Snoop, y'all real good. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. we real yeah. We, yeah, yeah. I love Snoop. We waiting for him to pay up on the debt. Yeah, exactly. He want to. He, he already know I'm waiting on now. <laughs> hey Snoop, <laughs> I need you to pay up on that debt, man. You know that, man. Our bed is real, and Shaq owes me twenty five push ups. Okay. <laughs> for those that don't know, Clipper Darrell and Snoop had a bet. And uh, Snoop lost, so Snoop is supposed to dress up in Clipper colors. Uh-huh. And he's yet to no, he's supposed to wear the Clipper suit. The, the suit. Clipper suit, the suit. Excuse me, he got to put the suit <laughs> yeah, on. Got to do the whole thing. After that, he can give it to the Paul George. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm getting, because I'm getting tailor made for him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I got the tailor ready, and he keep putting her off and everything, man. But <laughs> let's let's talk about the suits, man. How did where did the suit come from? How did I mean? Is it how many do you have? You have a, yeah, your closet like Men in Black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It, it's funny because if you ever talk to Sam Cassell, right? Uh, oh, wow. The suit came about when in 05, right? Okay. When we acquired Sam Cassell. So if you ever ask, hey, hey, Sam, what you think about Clipper Girl? I made him. <laughs> That's what exactly what he yeah. said. I made him. <laughs> because that was the year. That was the same year we yeah. acquired Sam Cassell. That was good. And the same year where the NBA said the players could no longer wear jerseys. They have to wear suits. Yep. They called it the Allen Iverson rule. That's yep. right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I said, shoot, the players got to do it. Why not the fans? Mm. And so I already had this jersey and everything that I was gonna wear. Then I changed up, shot downtown, got a half red, got me bought a red suit, and a blue suit, two of everything, you know. And took it, took it upstairs, man, right there on Santee. Told him, I said, put it together. 
I said, cut it in half and put it together, man. The guy said, huh? <laughs> He said, are you serious? He, know, he, he looked at me and said, Sadio. <laughs> Sadio. I said, yeah. Sadio. <laughs> Let's go. Run it. And, he, hey, and that's, how I came, that's how I came about. Wow. That's what's and, up. And it's, it's funny. I got, I, got, I got eight of the old logo, and I got two of these with the new logo. Oh, with the new logo mm-hmm. on the inside. With the new logo is the Clippers. Man, show them the interior. I, said, I just seen that yeah, right there. Right? Check I'm that out. Okay. I, I, ain't, I, ain't got, yeah. I ain't get up close on but, it before. But, but for those of you that don't know, the LA Clippers did this for me. Oh, that's oh what's wow. up? Yeah, they got when we got the new logo, they looked out for me and said, Hey girl, we gotta, you know, are you gonna get to and I said, Man, come on, these suits calls. <laughs> so and they, 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 said, they hooked they it said, up. They hooked they, hooked, they they hooked the brother up, man. Because I had because I was just buying them mm-hmm. before, mm-hmm. right? Because it, man, but you know, when you gotta change the logos on them and all right, that, yeah. Yeah, you know, it'd be it be starting to get, you know, get costly, but they took care of the cost. Yeah, shout out to the Clippers. Yeah. That's what's up. So man. I, that's why I got much love, man. I love you, Gillian. <laughs> Yeah, you can't yeah. do nothing but have love. <laughs> right. do that. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I I do anything for you know, like you know, I know with the 2012, they look out for me and stuff like that. But our agreement is, you know, if I give them three appearances throughout the season, you know, that that exchange for the tickets and everything else. So oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's so what's up. so whatever they want me to do, I could go into a school or go go up to one of the uh, suites or whatever. No, whatever respect they want me to do, respect so. it. I'm, I'm I'm good with the Clippers, man. I, I I love them, man, from top to bottom, man. Don't have no problems with them. That's what's up. That's what's up. And um, you know, the, I I actually like the suit, man. Mm-hmm. Even even though I'm not a Clipper Clipper fan, but I'm I, sorry I ain't got that. I ain't got that hate for the Clippers. I ain't, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I I wish y'all the best. No, but the best might not be winning it all. But you 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 might you mighty dapper. You know what I'm saying? And then you exactly. got I see a lot of you know photos when you, you know, like I said, I love the suit. And then it's, it it almost looked like you're going to prom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know where you're going. And uh. Yeah, man, talk talk to me about the these prom pictures, man. Prom How, pictures. Where did that come up? Cause it's hilarious. It's genius. I got a I had a horrible prom. Mm-hmm. Horrible prom. Ah, okay. Okay. So I just said, man, I started uh I started having having some fun. So a couple of friends, we was out one day. I said, I said, girl, let's do a prom pic. And I posted <laughs> it. And people liked it. Yeah. Right. And so people was coming up to me at the arena. Yo, wherever I'm at, they would say, hey, girl, let's do a prom pic. Post me. See, I was, okay. That, that, that answers my question. I was <laughs> concerned about a couple of these prom pics, man. <laughs> I said, now listen, this looks like it could be some trouble. <laughs> you know? but, no. but they approach you. Yeah. See, the, the thing is with the prom pics, usually they're, they're comfortable with it. Because I tell them straight, yeah. straight, straight from the jump. Even when you see my W, if I know you personally, mm-hmm. like the Kerry Champions, the Jamel Hill. See, I know them young ladies personally. Yeah. So what I do, I call them and tell them, is it okay, is it okay for me to uh, post you as my WC? Oh, no, girl, no problem. You know? So when I know you- it, it, It's it, different, it, yeah. It, it's totally different. So right. It, you know, you, you got to have, have the respect because you never want a person to feel uncomfortable. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The girl likes me. Yeah. You know, nah, it's just it's just a fun situation. Yeah, especially in this time and era, yeah, you have to be very careful. Yeah, very careful. Yeah, I was so. like, I don't know if this is a Clipper Daryl or a Player Daryl. Yeah, I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. Like, I was worried I was looking, I'm clicking through. I'm like, these, these some nice looking young. So, young so now, so when I say because even like people that photography that, that does photography for me, uh-huh. or if I'm at a but hey, hey, hey Daryl, you gonna, you ain't gonna get the prom pic, and I I look at the person, I say, if you want a prom pic? We can do it. Mm-hmm. And as you said, and it's, some people don't know, know what a prom pic is. Uh-huh. Some people, m- most everybody do, but you right. get a couple of them that don't. They, they forget about the prom pic picture. Mm-hmm. You know, how, I mean the pose. Yeah, you know? yeah. And that's all it is. You know, and 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 the, and one I just took the other day. Mm-hmm. We was in the suite when we took it, right? Mm-hmm. So she did, she did the both poses. She did the, the one from behind, <laughs> side by side. You know what I'm saying? So I got both of them. You know, I, I was just the double down. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's a fun situation, man. I know some people don't like it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to hate on it. But, right, right. You know, they're gonna, they, they they hate gonna it make, on Jesus Christ. So. They ain't going to make everybody <laughs> yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, sure. Exactly. Yeah, you know? that, man. So. Any, any, any boyfriends ever ever approach you? Just <laughs> but actually, you know what? Even, even the bo- they do it in front of their husbands. That's how crazy it is. Yeah. You know? That's funny. Hey, 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 girl, my wife, my wife wants a, a prom pic. Okay. I would. Hey, listen, I, I wish said, my wife would, but I'm saying, I'm married, <laughs> but I wish she but, would. But see, but, but the problem is. I respect it. You know, at, see, it wouldn't it's bother fun. me because at the same time, when, when when you're dealing with a celebrity or whatever, if you're doing them, it's one thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, now she didn't just go off of herself. This is yeah, what he does. Yeah. So you right. can see my prom pics every Saturday. Mm-hmm. I get, so oh, that, okay. that's what people do. 
You know, they look forward to they. Hey, girl, you, are you they DM me. Hey, am I am I this week? Because I be having you know lined up. Yeah, I be yeah. having lined up. It's a bunch of them. I hear it. I hear you know it. what I'm saying? But I just put them in order and they just keep just keep them moving, man. But I just I have fun with it, man. There's no disrespect to the ladies, man. You know, and you know. I just had a horrible prom, man. It was a horrible prom for me, and I just wanted to have good flashbacks of it. Mm. And uh, actually, what I want to do, because my birthday is on Valentine's Day, but it's always, it's always, um, it's always during All Star Weekend, weekend. weekend. Yeah, yeah, All Star Weekend, yeah. man. But I think, I think one year, man, I'm just gonna throw a prom. Yeah, that every time. You, gonna, you should, you should throw a prom during All Star Weekend. The, just throw it during, during All Star Weekend. Throw it during All Star Weekend. But usually, I be working it. That's why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to do it. But I'm, I think I'm gonna put together, together something, man, where where we can all dress up, suit and ties. Let's do you know it. Let's do an all star weekend prom. Uh-huh. We got the players, everybody come out decked out with their wives, and they, they you know let's exactly. Just just make sure we could get on the list. Man. Yeah, man. You know all the celeb Jay Z go be one to pull up. Just, me at the bottom. Just give of me the a list. spot. You, you know. know what I, mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about y'all though. Man. <laughs> You know, but hey, but you know what though? You know I'm gonna put y'all on the list because I like clutch points though. <laughs> okay, CP, <laughs> got my back, baby. We made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We y'all made it. Made it. Y'all All made right, it. We good. I, we I good. love the clutch points memes, man. Y'all, y- y'all be off the chain in here, man. I love. Hey, them memes be off the chain, yeah, man. Yeah. I love them. Check yeah, them out. Quick. Follow them on Instagram if you haven't yet. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. but so I'll, I'll say the this is like uh, it took me some years before you 27 years in the game, but I'd say around around the Donald Sterling time was when the first time I. Realize who Clipper Daryl was, mm-hmm. uh, but I saw you on the freeway and didn't know that's who you were. Mm-hmm. But I saw the car. Okay. <laughs> Since then, uh, we just sp- saw you earlier in the year. You said you were getting the color uh, re- repainted. I got a, a whole Is new it finished? One. I got a whole new one, so it, it, it'll be out. It'll be ready for you Christmas Day. Christmas Ooh, Day. Oh, okay. Christmas it's coming day. out Christmas that's how you're Day. Doing, it's coming huh? out Christmas with day. the new new Clipper car. Okay, I'm excited. You have you already seen what it's looking like? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's excited. I can see. Yeah. It's looking good too, baby. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta get to the stadium. I, mean, I, mean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the rims. The rims are getting powder coated as we speak. What mm. kind of car is it? Can we say that? I can't tell you. Oh, mm. it's a big body though. Mm. It's the big body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. No, I'll take you know, it. you know, what? big shout out to BMW, man. I'm, I'm, I take it. Right. BMW. Okay, BMW. Shout, shout out to them. Shout, shout out to BMW, BMW man. I love, I love BMWs though. That's my, that's my thing. Great car, German car. Yeah, nice. seven series, baby. So if you ever want to sponsor me, give me a car, baby. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> I'm serious, baby. I love it. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, that's real. That's real. And like you, like I said, you've been going to, you only miss like two two home games in yeah. 20 years. 20 um, seasons. 20 seasons. Because you know, it's always two years in a season. Right, right, right. So um, has there ever been a, like you see you see a lot of fans nowadays and you, you, you're a super fan, you know, it's people that called you a fake fan, which I don't. Understand that, yeah. but you're a super fan, and and you have a lot of interaction with the players, and it's been a lot lately, and probably forever, mm-hmm. where where fans cross the line. Yeah, and I'm sure like you've had you know your run-ins with players, maybe even made players mad or whatever. But when for you is is you know stepping over the line, like what's crossing the line to you? And crossing the line is when you bring people's parents into it. Mm-hmm. Talk about their mamas, their daddies. When you cuss them out and they don't know who you are, when yeah. they when you to me courtside should have a different t- sets of rules. Mm-hmm. People yeah, people in the stands, people gonna say what they want to say, but when you courtside, you right up on them. Yeah, it's a whole different feel. So it's a different respect. I just feel like you need to respect the players, especially yeah. you know, because when you cussing at somebody, when you telling somebody f you and you ain't nothing, and they don't know who you are, man, they don't know if you're playing or not. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. The players, when I do it, it's a fun gesture back and forth. They acknowledge it. They, I've been doing it for years. Right. You see what I'm saying? So people, people accept, people accept it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't cuss nobody out. Mm-hmm. You know, I do one where you're weak, you're no good, and you can't be traded. But <laughs> even the benches be laughing, man. Yeah. <laughs> but it, and I got the one, the UGLY one. But it's all, it's all in fun because yeah. I always. I always find that the, the ugliest player or the, or the one that don't look that good <laughs> and try to get him. Get him at the free throw line. Get him at the free throw line. Nice and quiet. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who's that? Re- recently you got somebody's attention uh, at the free throw line. What's LeBron? Oh, yeah. I got LeBron. I, I've gotten um, – I, I never could get Kobe. Oh, yeah. He's too you know, I, I, no, the reason why I can't get Kobe is because 
it, because um, everybody doing the MVP chance. Yeah, so it's too yeah, loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care if it's our home game or their home game. Man, it crazy. don't matter. I can't never get cold. Can't get cold. Can't never get cold. But but Kobe gave me the biggest shout out in the world. And when he left the game, and he said he's gonna miss Clipper Durrell. Yeah, yeah and he did. that was the biggest thing. I mean, coming from a Laker too. Right. Yeah. That's so heavy. that's when I that's when I knew myself. I was like, I'm I'm in the right direction mm-hmm. because people respect it. I mean, LeBron and Shaq laughed at it. I mean, all the big names. James Harden acknowledges it. Mm-hmm. You know, Chris yeah. Paul to to uh, Steph Curry, like being going places and being acknowledged of who you are, it, it's crazy. It's to crazy. Me. Like you know, like I went to go see Lamar and um uh, uh Lamar, I went to go see Lamar and then Derek Fisher comes in. Mm-hmm. You know, he was at the signing too, and he acknowledges me. Mm-hmm. So it, it's crazy. I take pictures, sign autographs, and yeah, I mean, you know, people people say I'm a celebrity, but man. It, it, it's just a crazy feeling that you, you know, it's, it's one of those unbelievable feelings that you would never expect, man. Right. You never probably get used to just, nah. yeah. You can't just, get used to it. Yeah. Because you're just a person mm-hmm. in, your mind, in your mind, but everybody else looking at you at Clip, Clipper Daryl. Yeah. But I, but one thing I do, I respect the game and I respect other fans from, from yeah, other teams. Yeah, definitely. We're going we gonna to have our fun banner. Yeah, yeah right. You know right. what I'm saying? But it ends. Like, where I sit next to me is usually the family mm-hmm. of the other team. So we go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the game, win or lose, you know, we shake hands, embrace, and they I go my way, they go their way. Right. So it is no, it's never no turmoil. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my 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 position is on they the, the NBA needs to get get that under underway. Soon as soon as it starts, they need to handle it. Right. Security Straight needs up, to be yeah. on, on top of it. Right. Because when you sit in court side, man, that's a disrespect. Like I was so happy that Mark Cuban when the dude disrespected uh, Patrick Beverly, mm-hmm. that was my that was the one I was upset about because, you know, you can't say the things you say courtside. Now you can say it in the right. stands, right? Because right. that's at a distance. They can't hear you. But you up on somebody, you you you, you in their lane, you in their presence, mm-hmm. you in their you in their space, right? That space, you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody like walking your office and cusses you out. Mm-hmm. That's a whole different feel. Yep. You know, so people. People have to understand that, man. There's a there's a different limitation to fandom, man. And I and I that's why people always say I'm the I'm one of the I'm the only one that's probably the one that's left, the one of the cleanest hecklers. Right, right, that's right. Wrong. Cause you uh you got people that that come at you on social media all the time. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, like from the fake pages and yeah. you know. You you yeah you 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 are a celebrity. <laughs> you, you get all that treatment. Yeah, even more than a celebrity. Recently, you were. Uh, the Grand Marshal, and giving the key to the city for uh, Linwood, correct? Yeah. How was that? What was that? What was that uh, process like? How did that feel to be the Grand Marshal of the parade? Now, being being honored with the and it's crazy how social media is, right? Right. Right. Linwood didn't know didn't didn't have my information, mm-hmm. so guess how they they found me <laughs> on social media. So on social media, wow. so they DM me. I still got wow. the DM, <laughs> and they DM me, and they asked me. They went and then we we talked and everything, and. It was just a grand marshal, right? To be the grand marshal. So that was an honor for me to be the grand marshal. Right. But they do a, a pregame, a pre parade uh, program. Mm-hmm. And that's when they gave me the key. They surprised me with the key to the city. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. And that was crazy. So that for was a surprise. That was a surprise. I didn't know I was getting the key to the city. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So they surprised me with it. Mm-hmm. So that was a great, that was a great honor. Yeah, yeah. I watched this parade go down this street in the city of Linwood, man, since I was seven years old. I watched this parade, man. My godmother was uh was uh she was over the Compton Sounders, a drill team. And so I used to watch her. I said, Mama, I want I want to be in that band and I want to be the, the grand marshal. I used to tell my mama that. So when I got there, that's the first person I, I praised was my mama because I told her I wanted to do it, but my mama's not here to share it with me mm-hmm. now. You know, but but a dream fulfilled. I, man, my dream was fulfilled. And I, that's what I was telling the kids when I do my motivational speaking, when I go speak to the kids. I don't care what your dream is. Dreams do come true. Mm-hmm. You just got to believe in yourself and somebody else could believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself first, how is else somebody going to believe in you? See, don't look at people to make you. Look at people to better you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? That makes sense. So when, when you sitting up here, when you got a show already, when you got something going, people want to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. They don't want to show you how to do everything. Right. You know, yeah. you gotta do you gotta do the A, B, and C. Let me handle the D, E, F. 
See, right. that's what you got to do. So. <clears throat> so, you seen all like I said, we we'll go back to Clippers. We see all the different players that came through there. Who who would you say your favorite Clipper of all time is? <laughs> As long as you put on that red, white, and blue uniform, I got love for you, baby. <laughs> really? No, I was going to ask. It's like your kids. You can't just pick one. Nah, you got love. I, for you. I, you put on that red, red, white, and blue uniform. I got love for you. So, you know, I, I've I've met I've met so many of them. I've done so many charity events with them, man. And all of them are different. All of them right. got different ways, different feelings. Right. Uh, you know, so it's you know, they, they pay well though. But <laughs> yeah. there, so there's never been one. <laughs> Clipper that you said, man, I, he just, we don't get along. You gotta he go. rubbed me the wrong way. None. None. Yeah. Not that, not one. Now, I'm going to tell you my my work, my only one experience that I've ever had in the NBA, and it was Eric Dampier, mm -hmm. right? Damn. Eric, Eric Dampier was at the free throw line. I called him ugly, <laughs> right? Everybody laughed, and it was funny, right? He went to, we went to the club, and I was with Jimmy McGetty, right? Corey McGetty's Corey, brother. Uh -huh. Corey's brother, right? So he at the club, right? I'm getting in. I got VIP just like everybody else, right? Yeah. I said, what's up, E? He said, man, get out of my face, right? But he didn't say it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? That's the PG version. So I thought, I was like, okay, he's playing. Oh, he said, man, leave me alone. Get out of my face. So I said, okay. So I left, right? I didn't think nothing of, at that, uh, nothing of it after that, right? I mean, it bothered me because I was like, man, what, what, why is he mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So one of his teammates told him, that he don't mean no harm, and this is what he do. You know what I'm saying? You know, he he called you ugly, but he not, you know, he, man, he a nice dude. So yeah. they told him. What, so the next game that we when we played Dallas, he uh, he came up, he called me down the stand, out of the stands, and we embraced, and he, he apologized to me and everything, and said I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't aware, but my teammates broke it down to me. So I appreciate it. So shout that was the only time I had it, and I and and I got a big, I got big left. So every time he comes to town, he always. You know, give, hit me up or say, "Hey, hey, hey D, what's happening?" Or he comes up to my seat or whatever, man. And I and I love him for that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's what that's what the the thing that I try to get people to understand is is It's all about communication. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you could correct something without being upset. Yeah. You see, and and why by him by him communicating with his teammates, they told him, man, this is you know he's been doing this for years, bro. You know, you probably never just paid attention to it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, he came back and, you know, we apologized. And, hey, bygone be bygone. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't live in the past, man. I look forward to a future, man, because, you know, the past can take you down, man. That's what. Yeah. That's why people get so yeah. depressed, man. right? Especially you as a Clipper fan. Right? You can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> See how you got to throw it in? Yeah, yeah. The past can take you down. I'm, just, I'm disagreeing <laughs> with you, man. I, I get it. You know, you got to look towards the future. So, yeah. looking so towards the future, slide man. that in there. Yeah, you try to slide that in, you know. I was, you know, but I get that, you know. This is this is a Laker city, but we about to put a we about to put a hell of a dent in it though. Yeah, mm -hmm. I respect that. Listen, I, I've been a Laker fan all my life, man. I'm sorry, uh, to hear about but that. I, I, I don't don't feel sorry. You know, I've watched a lot of championships, seen a lot of great games. I've watched uh, you know watched them break you guys' hearts a lot of time too. But uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I love what the Clippers are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the direction of the organization right now. And, yes, and I'm looking forward to these battles for the next few years, man. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be some great battles. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the first game of the season, it was what it was. You know, coming out the gates. Uh, but Christmas will have a little bit better idea of what's going on. I think both teams will be kind of at full strength at that time. And uh, and we'll, we'll see what we're working with. I, mm -hmm. I, I think it's the Western mm -hmm. Conference Finals preview. If y'all can get up there in the, in the in your standings at some Who, point. Who's the home team? The, the Lakers. The Lakers are mm -hmm. the home team, yeah. You want to uh, you wanna put your money where your mouth is? Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, put it, yeah. Okay. No. Y'all no, see it, this. It ain't no money back. Okay. Y'all see this. That's what I want you to do. And the Clippers whoop y'all butt on Christmas Day. All right. That evening or mm. that morning, I want you to put on a Clipper jersey mm -hmm. and stand on Instagram and say, "Let's go Clippers!" <laughs> Let me see. You check Let's go me. Clippers! Okay. <laughs> Christmas on a Wednesday. Uh huh. That following Christmas weekend, Day. we'll be here, and I'll come find you. Okay. We can link up. And likewise, when the Lakers win, mm -hmm. I want the same way. Run it concurrently. You put your mm. Lakers jersey on or it's Lakers It's intense it. right here. Let's go Lakers. It's intense. Mm. Wow. Wow. We'll hit you with your own bet. Yeah, but my own bet. Mm. Ain't got no creativity. Exactly. I, 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 think, I'm, I'm a, I think you got to come up with something else. 
That's what I think. But I think you got to come up with your own he ideas. He wants me to put on Clippers you colors. Yeah. You can do something with Lakers stuff, but... Yeah, let's 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 get a little creative. On I enjoy it. the red cups. Appreciate that too. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, nah, I want to see him in a Lakers jersey. I want to see you in a in a. In a... You can't take it, man. See, small. See, that's what Laker mm-hmm. fans are: small minded. <laughs> See, this this just means he's worried about it. You know, he's scared no. to have to put that jersey on. You know. Yeah. To have to put an AD jersey on the the future of the Lakers, AD. I'd be concerned too. You know, so I AD get who AD. The only AD I know is AD dude, the plumber. <laughs> 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 got it, got it. We'll see. Hey, listen, Christmas is not too far away. Like we said, that's close. And we can we can run it concurrently. We'll talk. We'll we can we can work we'll out, the, iron the iron out the details of things. Oh, definitely. And, and and yeah, we'll make it happen. That's uh, that's the deal, bro. Whatever. <laughs> hey, hey, Clipper Daryl, have Whatever. you ever other, you know, outside of being just a, you know, a super, super fan of the Clippers, have you, other than this season, have you ever thought like this the year we go win and really, you know, believed it? Yeah. Honestly, this is the second time. I really thought, excuse me, when we acquired Chris Paul, mm-hmm. I really thought that was our time. I really thought that he was going to take us, but, you know, Chris got hurt. And, I thought we can do when the year that the Houston came back from that three one deficit right. mm-hmm. killed me. Yeah, that hurt. That was our year. I really did. Nah. Honestly, and this is the second time now stating this is our time. Mm-hmm. It's just it just it just feels different. You definitely have a window now. Yeah. Uh, you know, with both of them coming over, you definitely have created a window for a championship window, and those don't come often. Mm-hmm. And when they do come, they don't stay open often. So. I'd say over these next four years, I really think it's. But 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 the reason why I'm thinking that this is our time too because we don't have KD to worry about, yep. we don't have Steph and Clay to worry about. You know what I'm saying? The it's only team that next we really, door. This next exactly this next, yeah, door. next door. Yeah. So, I just I just believe this is our time, man. You just don't realize that when when you when you see, I seen last year what we can do, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and when we took people said, man, you only took the Warriors to six games. Okay, fine. We took them to six games, but we beat them. Right. We beat them. We came back from 31 points down with mm-hmm. no superstar. Right, right, right. Now we got two of them. Mm-hmm. So we got the we got a first team with Kawhi and Paul George and a second team to Lou and Montrez and a great bench. Yeah. Man, these guys, bro, and no egos. Yeah, just dogs. Yeah. No egos. These guys fight for one another, man. That's what makes this game. That's what makes this team so invincible to me, man. You know, mm, I understand. Word. I understand. Yeah, we lost. I mean, we won't lost against Milwaukee by forty. Those games going to happen. That's that's the NBA. That's a part of the game. But when it gets down to the playoffs, man, the game slows down. Very much so. Half court basketball. That's Kawhi time, baby. PG time, baby. Lou Will, my trip. <laughs> Oh my goodness, baby! It's the Clippers, and they are fantastic. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. I'm looking forward. Oh to this man, so it's gonna be good times. Good yeah. times. Yeah. Every time we win a game, I'm coming to Clutch Point. We're gonna put a mark. We're gonna put a banner up here, right? Absolutely not. And I'm gonna mark it down. Mark. Uh, it's fifteen it, to go. That's cool. Oh, Fourteen to go. It ain't gonna stay up during the podcast. I tell you that. Right now. <laughs> That's out. <laughs> Not behind me. <laughs> It'll be there. It'll be there. Put it up, put it down, man. We can do. So I have a question. It's, of course, you pay close attention to him. What would you say is maybe the issue net right now? Because I mean, you guys have a great team. So, you know, on paper, top to bottom, not quite firing on all cylinders right now. What would you say? Is maybe the, the the major issue right now for the Clippers finding everybody's sweet spot. Yeah, understanding what you know everybody's moving. That's it. It took Miami a while to figure out you know with Bosh Wade and LeBron to mm-hmm. figure out yeah. where we go use everybody. Yeah. So that, that's why I think too. I, I don't look at the record right now. The All Star, yeah, no, nah, come on, we, we know who break. they are. Yeah, All Star break. I think we we we're we gonna be clicking. Man, we're gonna be we're gonna be clicking, running, man, stomping. Oh my goodness, baby! It's Clipper basketball. <laughs> and Clipper, uh, have have your voice ever went out? Nah. Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm I, gotta, I gotta I gotta work on mine, man. Cause I 
a lady taught me, and if I could ever find this lady, she came up to me one day, right? And it was like in early, like early 2000s. And she says, Earl, you got to do it from your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. So if you ever notice when I cheer, Same I do thing with singing, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. let's go, Clippers, let's go. That's why I do it in cadence, because I'm breathing. Mm -hmm. So now it's coming from my diaphragm, not coming from my throat. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't throw it. Got you. She, when she told me, like, I, 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 I want to thank her again. I really do. Yeah. I thank her that night. Singers, you have to, it's all about your breathing and where you're coming from. Yeah. So yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah, because you do a little singing, don't you? I might, I might I mean, do a little bit, a little something, something. We in the studio, you know. You oh, know. you can sing? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. The Lakers <laughs> are going down. <laughs> They're going down. They're going down on Christmas Day. <laughs> I'll be singing in, in June 2020 about the, our championship parade. I'll be singing during that. Don't worry about it. No, you're going to be watching ours. <laughs> championship parade going to be in LA. It's going to be having yeah, uh, purple and gold colors, I'll tell you right now. Okay, you want to bet that too? <laughs> Let's get past Christmas first. You can't even agree on the Christmas bet. Hey, no, no, you can't agree on it because you you, you copied off of what I said. I told you. So if you want to take that bet too, we, we can take that one. Matter of fact. You're going to put on a Clippers bathing suit <laughs> and stand out in front of Clutch Points, Ooh. man, and say, let's go, Clippers. <laughs> Ooh. Look, I got you giving them ideas. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we want to do a championship, you got to go into the Lakers parade with Lakers gear on. Oh, no, I never do that. Okay. Yeah, all right, then. <laughs> I ain't never doing that. Okay, we ain't even going to play with that. That one there. That one there. Ain't Come no down on the <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Steve Murray, fight this whole thing. <laughs> man. Steve, I didn't take the bet. Then I didn't take the bet. You didn't take the bet. Okay. okay. I didn't take the bet. I didn't take the bet on that one. I do a lot of bets, man, but I'll never do that one. We'll get with it. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll but I'm down. We got I'm time. We got time. But Plenty of time. And yeah, we got to uh, make sure we put it out there once, once, we, once we got it. Oh, on, yeah, definitely. Wax. We'll put it out there for everybody. Definitely. Once. But I got, I got, I only got like two more questions for you, man. I ain't gonna hold you up. Oh, man, take your time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, you know, my Clippers come on in, in a few minutes, but it's, it's all right, though. Man. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I, man, that's what I was thinking about. I was, I was like, no, we, no, 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 we good, though, man. Y'all can keep me. Y'all can keep me because y'all got a TV outside. I'm taking that football down and y'all put the Twitter <laughs> game up. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, when, when, when we talked about getting you on the pod or whatever, you, had, you asked me a, a funny question. Well, it was funny to me because I didn't know mm -hmm. or oh, whatever. Yeah. And you was like, um, he was like, yeah, I'll come, I'll come on and do it for you, bro. And I, you know, I appreciate you. Definitely. And he was like, uh, do y'all got elevators? And I'm like, uh, yeah, we we got elevators. So, <laughs> yeah, you, you ain't got to take the stairs. He was like, good. Cause I don't, I don't, well, he was like, well, I don't do elevators. Yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, we got stairs. <laughs> but what, what, what's that? What, what, you get stuck on the elevator before? So I got claustrophobic? I'm claustrophobic. Oh, okay. I got locked in my, I, I, got, I got locked in the bathroom mm. when I was a little when kid. When I was a kid. Mm. When I was a kid. So anything closed in for me, that's, okay, I can't tell. I, can't, I don't have no control over it. That's why you need that big body in that car. You yeah. can't can't have nothing small. You need a big body. Yeah, you need that big body. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Cars don't bother me. Planes don't bother me. Now small planes do. Like, oh, whew. like it was one time Boy. I was going. I was going to. Uh, uh, Corey was renting a um, renting a uh, plane to go to Vegas one one time, and I was with him. And uh, I said, man, I can't. I can't do the plane, bro. <laughs> I said, I, I, I drive. I drive in. I remember. No, well, not not that one, but for uh, for what was it? Was it summer league? You was like, I'm driving. On what? I, I feel like you drove up for summer league recently, and then drove back. Cause you said you had to do an appearance. Oh, that's when I had to do something for K Day. Oh, that's when I was just on it. That's when I went down there because I do it every year. I go down there to the summer league, mm -hmm. and that's when uh, the Lakers, when the Laker Clippers play, right? Right. And LeBron was down there. So that's that's the same night. It's crazy because that's the same night when we acquired Kawhi. Yeah, well, we yeah, were there. Yeah. I saw you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, man, man, hey, I'm on a high right now, man, because I already cut Snoop out. <laughs> <laughs> I already went down to the table sitting and got that that done. So I'm I'm, I'm driving to Vegas, right? Yeah. So I'm doing interviews I'm on doing, the phone. On the phone. Oh yeah, I was. Yeah. I remember. I remember yeah. now. I was doing interviews on the phone while I'm driving to Vegas, right? I get to Vegas, man. I'm late, right? I'm I'm about I'm about about eight minutes here, about eight, about, you know, about eight minutes left in the first quarter, right? So I'm walking down, man. Everybody seeing me coming, man. Started clapping, right? And then it got quiet, right? And I stood up and I said, LeBron! 
Yeah, I'm we gonna... coming for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a new era. No, now we're everywhere. And yeah. then I said the next one. I said the Laker era is it's over. over. <laughs> it's Clipper time, bro. It, everybody went, went, it went crazy went out everywhere. I was like, man, he was just in the car on the phone. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. So that was that was crazy. Exactly. I'll never forget that. I've I've had I've you know interaction with the people, having fun is who I am. I've always been, I've been, you know, I got in trouble for being a class clown. So mm-hmm. I can resonate. <laughs> and but now to actually get paid to, to do be something you. I love to do, to be mm-hmm. me, is 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 it's a no-brainer for me, man. This is this is fun for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you said you wanted me to come down, you know, I said, can we do it over the phone? Nah, I re- he said, we do video. I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, cool. I, I, you want me to wear the suit? So we, we argue. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. We, yeah. we, we argue back and forth about the suit, right? He said, if you want to, right? But I heard it in his voice, like, man, please wear the suit. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, I mean, if, if you want to wear the suit, I ain't going to be mad. But, yeah. exactly. I was like, I, I was like, I ain't going to fly. I was like, I ain't going to force him, man. Yeah. You know? You know, see, I like the suit. Yeah, no, definitely, <laughs> definitely respect and appreciate you for coming. Um, so you said you get paid now to be the fan. That's that's from the Clippers. That's from oh no, oh no, yeah. I didn't take a check from the Clippers. The sponsorships oh, and stuff because the sponsorships, hosting events, my radio show, all that. Because see, if I work for the Clippers, it won't be fun. There anymore. won't be a fan either. Because yeah. what happens is, what I do at the four minute mark. They might want me to do it at the six minute mark. Yeah, they, got, they start and telling you what to do. Six minute mark. Yeah, it's going to work at the four minute mark. So, being Clipper Durham is what I love doing. Being sponsored by different companies, man. Steering Law, the best personal injury attorney around. Give them a call 833 799 But being sponsored by companies and and you know doing hosting events for players and hosting events for brands and stuff like that. It's like a dream come true, man. Doing stuff, you know, to New Balance, to Nike, to, you know, the different companies, mm-hmm. man. It's, it's unbelievable for me, man, that people actually, you know, I get a check for doing something that I love to do. Right, awesome, right. Awesome. And that's what uh sponsors out there that's watching season two of A Minute Till Six is now. If you want to come over here and sponsor a few of us, you know. got to get it while it's hot, baby. Get it while it's hot. We are willing. Yeah. And my last question I got for you, Clipper Daryl, is, uh, well, it's not, well, yeah, it's a question, but you know the. Start start one, bench one, cut one. I'm gonna throw three three players' names out there. I want you to start them, bench them, cut them. And I'm gonna go start them, bench them, and cut them. Yeah, you have to start one player, bench one player, and cut one player. You know what? We might as well make this an LA edition. You gotta make it. Your two boys. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna be, make it that easy. easy. I ain't gonna make that easy, easy. on Kawhi. Start him. <laughs> he ain't heard the other days. <laughs> Kawhi, LeBron, healthy Durant. <laughs> Start Kawhi, bitch LeBron, and, and what was the other one? Durant. Uh, no, what was the, what, what was KD. The, no, it, it started. It, it oh, started cut him. Oh, cut him. him. And cut him. And cut KD. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I'm sorry. Bitch KD and cut LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch KD and cut LeBron. <laughs> Start Kawhi. <laughs> cut LeBron and bitch KD. <laughs> my boy LeBron in street clothes, real yeah, quick. I'll, but at first, I was going to say Kawhi and PG and somebody, but I'm like, he going to start a bitch PG. Yeah, instantly. Yeah, 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 I was like, I, it ain't no, going to No, because uh, if you just did that, I was going to say, start PG, start Kawhi, <laughs> and bitch the other person. <laughs> and I ain't cut neither. If you want to clear it, baby, you ain't getting cut. <laughs> you ain't getting bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this season feel too good right now, man. Season two feeling too hey, man, good. This season so, feels so good, man. I thought I was Jesus Christ the other day, man. I thought I was walking on water, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got Clipper Dell. We got Kanye. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Clipper Kanye Jesus. over here. Okay. He's here. Oh, man. I thought I was walking on water, man. I was getting so excited, man. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I'm, I, I hope like I hope it's not too bad on you when, when the Lakers do win when wow. they win it. I hope it don't. You know, I, I really hurt, hope hope it don't hurt you. I like you a lot, man. I don't want to see nothing. I like you. <laughs> I, I like you too. Man. I don't want to see you like have no. You gotta have down, some son, though. I'm going after his daddy. <laughs> 
Oh, man, I'm, man, what, can, can we get can we get you back in the future? Nah, we we'll, have to charge next. Week. I, I wear <laughs> I wear my Paul George uh, nah, Fresno State shirt. Oh man, whenever y'all want me, man, y'all y'all got me, man. Let's let's talk let's talk to the Laker basketball. We, oh, we, we got to do it before the, the Christmas Day game. Definitely, it's definitely facts. We should we should do something before happen. the Christmas Day game. Yeah, that'll be fun. Make it happen. I like y'all set up over here at Clutch Points, man. I like uh, it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank Except you the guy that's the engineer, though. He <laughs> <laughs> <We> keep laughing. <laughs> My man Nicky, leave me alone, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we go get out of here, man. Thank you. We got to leave already? Yeah, I'm kicking you out, man. It's, oh, wow. Uh, I'm starting to, the red and blue is starting to get to me a little bit. See, that's, that's, it. that's why you don't do that for Lakers fans, guys. <laughs> that's why you don't come to Lakers fans. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get you to your game. I gotta get you watching. It's, it's almost tip off. It's almost tip off. It's almost tip off. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, you know, see, I'm looking out for you. That's, a, that's all. Yeah, that's love. But this is a minute till six. Mark Haynes, MH the champ. To my guy Clipper Darrow, as we said, thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. And, and my Chris co-host. Perry. Co-host Chris Perry. Chris dot Perry S R on this one. And a horrible Lakers fan. <laughs> <laughs> to the death of me. And it's a minute till six. We out, baby.